talking about a Tobago writing retreat. If you are ready to perhaps take that time out to concentrate and invest in your writing, this is for you. It's happening in Charlottesville. And joining us to tell us more is Dr. Muli Amaye, Principal Facilitator, and Naja Nabi, Facilitator and Media Person. Good morning to both of you and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having yes, us. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have both of you with us on the show this morning to speak about this retreat, which definitely sounds very intriguing, I have to say, especially with, of course, just the time to concentrate on your writing particularly. So let's get into what influenced this, Muli. Okay, so I teach um, creative writing mm -hmm. at the UE. I'm the coordinator of the MFA. And I know that there are a lot of people who don't necessarily want to do a full course, yeah. um, but they want to just get that spark for their writing. Maybe they're starting off. Maybe they've had not had time to do their writing because life takes over. Mm -hmm. um, so we just thought that bringing people together because that collegiate value of being together and sharing your work really has an effect on your writing and Charlotteville, Tobago, the perfect spot. <laughs> it definitely is what a perfect to say. spot. And Nadja, I see you nodding as well. So have you experienced one of these before? I know you're a facilitator, of course, but have you ever had the experience of a writing retreat? Um, I've not been on an official writing retreat, mm -hmm. but I have done the MFA at UE and the mm -hmm. Muli. She was my supervisor. And it was such an amazing experience being in class with her and just receiving all of that knowledge. and. And we both went to um, Tobago in December, mm -hmm. and we were at the, um, the spot in Charlottesville, and we loved it so much. And we were thinking this would be so amazing to just bring that classroom energy, but into this relaxi relaxing spot, um, and just kind of marry that too, and for people to just come and enjoy. So I know for sure it's going to be an exciting time and a really wonderful, sp it's a wonderful space for people to just come and unwind and write. Definitely. It sounds like it's going to be that place to really decompress, I guess, yes. in many ways. Tell us something. Who is this for? It's for anybody who is writing. Okay. It's for somebody who's thinking about writing. Mm -hmm. It's for somebody who is writing and just feels that they may need a few extra tools. Because the way that we teach and the way that we facilitate is to give people tools, not to direct them, this is how you write, but mm -hmm. to give them tools so that they can use within their writing and within their experience. So it's for anybody, it's for people who are already writing and maybe they need to take a, a little bit of time out mm -hmm. just to concentrate because they don't have to think about food, they don't have to think about looking after anybody, they just have to think about their writing. Definitely, and you can see it here, it says, experience writing bliss wonderful that you mentioned of course food and accommodation are taken care of so you can just sort of put that to the back of your brain and focus on the writing itself now let's talk about the structure of this retreat because if i'm not mistaken there are some workshops yes yes yeah, so we're going to have three workshops, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to start off the morning really nice and easy with some stretch and some Pilates. And of course, we left it optional um, so people can join in, but it would be a nice way to jumpstart the morning. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of healthy meals planned, so we'll have a breakfast and then we'll have our workshops. From there, people get time to just be free and do their writing, maybe if they want to take a walk along the beach to get inspired or just to kind of decompress to get themselves ready. Mm -hmm. And then we meet again in the evening and we'll have some sharing throughout the day to get the opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one feedback as well. Um, so that would be really useful if they want to like refine a piece or if they want to bounce ideas around. And we have two other facilitators with us. We have Dr. Malcolm Cox and we also have June Amming, um, who's also an MFA graduate. So they would be able to get that rich knowledge from each of us um, who would be facilitating. And then on our final night there, we have a gala event where everybody gets to share a piece and we all get to connect. Wonderful. So it sounds like there's a good networking opportunity in here as well for writers to meet. Absolutely, yeah? Yeah. absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Now, um, one of the things you mentioned, Nadja, the one-on-ones, is this something that's going to be available throughout or is it that there are going to be structured times for the one-on-ones with writers? <laughs> It's, um, it's going to be available yeah. for whenever it suits people. So we've got the structured workshops and then we've got the free writing time, which mm -hmm. is really important. And I expect that within the free writing time, people might say, well, can I come and talk to you about mm -hmm. this piece? Um, and it's just it's available. And they've got the four of us that they can talk to about their writing. 
So let's get a little bit into the writing because you said anybody who likes to write. But you know, sometimes, of course, this is something that takes, you need to build your confidence. And some people may write different genres, some people may be writing about themselves, all these different things. Is it that it is open to any sort of writing at all, or are you looking for a particular type of writer? It's open to any type of writing. At the moment, we've had um, a lot of fiction writers who are um, registering with us, but it is open to anybody, and what it is is a safe space. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a mini Vegas, so what goes on there stays there. <laughs> <laughs> In the writing sense, when people are writing, they can be vulnerable. Yeah, They're putting themselves onto the page, and I create a space where everybody feels safe to share their writing in whatever way that they need to. Okay, interesting. And as you speak about um, creating that safe space and people being vulnerable, perhaps we can get into both of your um, career paths and your lives as well when it comes to writing. Um, let's start with you, Muli. What brought you to writing and to where you are today with us? Okay, um, when I started my first degree, um, I started it in social sciences, but I took a creative writing class. I had always been slightly creative when I worked in offices. I would write very creative letters to clients, quite often got into trouble for it. <laughs> um, and I, it just took off from there. I did my master's um, in creative writing at MMU in Manchester. Then I went on and did my PhD in Lancaster. Um, I have so many short stories published. Um, I have a, a novel published. I've got another manuscript that's almost ready. Um, I, I write constantly. Wonderful. And Nadja, what about you? Because you did mention, of course, that you were under Mooley as well. So yeah. speak, a, speak a bit about your journey to writing and what put you in a space to say, all right, and you want to be, um, well, a writer, among other things, assuming. Well, um, when I was a teenager, I would just walk around and get these lines on, in my head and I'm like, that sounds really good. And then I would want to put it on to the page and develop it even more. So when I went to UWE, I did um, my bachelor's in English, um, in literature and English, but I took a lot of writing courses while I was there, mm -hmm. and I fell in love with writing after that. So from there, I actually had been awarded a scholarship from the government to go abroad to the University of Sussex, mm -hmm. where I did a master's in creative and critical writing. And that was a really enjoyable experience. And then I came back and actually went to Muli to ask if I can get a job at UE. But when she started to explain the MFA, it was slightly different to what I had done abroad. So I said, I have to sign up to this. <laughs> um, but through my experience there, I was really um, grateful for the opportunity to um, create a collection of short stories that I have. It's unpublished. I'm looking for a publisher now, actually. <laughs> um, but it's all about... Um, Strength, empowering women, it's all about healing from trauma, it's all about connecting to your body. So those are right now some of the themes that I'm looking at and it's because I really want to be an advocate for women's empowerment and for um, us healing from our past and just, you know, being the strongest versions of ourselves. 100% and as you say strongest version of self and you've also shared some of your journey, we know the pen is definitely mightier than the sword. and. I'm assuming that this is going to be something which will come out of this retreat. So let's get back to the retreat for a quick moment. It's open to all writers, but what about age? Is there an cut off age who's allowed nope. to come, who's not allowed to come? We're not do we're not for children yeah. because we would have to put extra safeguards in place yes. that we don't feel that we want to right now. Mm -hmm. um, so it's for adults. Mm -hmm. Adults. Adults. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it doesn't matter. So I, doesn't can, I, matter. I can come if I'm 90 or when I'm 90 and I work. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking about the future, is this the first installment of the writing retreat? Yes, yes. definitely. Yeah? Definitely. But not the last. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. From, from both of you, um, Muli, we'll start with you. What would you like writers to get out of this retreat? I would like all of the writers who attend to walk away with a sense that they know what they're doing, that they trust in their own processes, that they have gained an insight into maybe areas where they were struggling and that they can walk away with confidence. As you just mentioned areas um, where they were struggling, what would you say are some of the key areas that writers struggle with particularly? Oh, it could be anything because everybody writes differently. We all write from our experience, mm. so there is no clear-cut way of this is how you write. But people might struggle with 
character or with voice or with setting or with using all of the senses. We quite often use sight all of the time mm -hmm. and the other senses can bring the reader right into the centre of your story or into the centre of your poem. So there are just little things, little tweaks that mm -hmm. people can do that will really enhance their writing. Wonderful. And um, Nadja, what would you like those to get out of this retreat once they attend? I really wish that people would come and um, get that time to just be in that writing mode. Because mm -hmm. I find even for my own self, um, life gets so busy and you say, okay, I'm going to write my 500 words today, I'm going to write 1,000 words today, and then you just don't get anything done, mm -hmm. not even 100 words or 10 words. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Is this writer's block? No, no. Okay. but it's, <laughs> no, it's just that life is so busy and work commitments and yeah. um, family commitments, um, so many responsibilities. So I really want people to just come and spend that time and just prioritize their writing. All right, and let's recap that time. Um, well, I know we're, we're, look at me saying we like I'm coming. We're going to Charlotte. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to come. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's in Charlottesville in Tobago, um, and it's the cost is 3000 right? And this it covers is. food, accommodation. Um, those who attend are responsible for their own transport? Um, transport into Tobago if they're coming from Trinidad, mm -hmm. uh, but we're getting them from the ports mm -hmm. or from the airport up to Charlotteville and taking them back on the Sunday. Okay, wonderful. And one of the things that you also mentioned, Nadja, is that there's a bit of a, um, a health aspect to this as well with the, um, the use. What did you say there was going to be in the morning? I think it was Pilates and something else? Yeah, and meditation. Okay. Or, yeah. Great, so you're ensuring if everything's all-encompassing, you were going yeah. to say, sorry. Yeah, I said meditation or prayer, whatever people yeah. do, um, it's just a way to connect with mm. themselves, with their bodies, and then to allow that creativity to flow. And of course, it could be quiet time mm. too, yeah. just some time to reframe their minds, because we are also not trying to project any beliefs onto anyone. Mm -hmm. We just want to respect everyone's beliefs and their values and their um, that system that they work in, and we give them that space and that time to just, you know, Reflect. Absolutely beautiful. And where can we get more information about this? We are on Instagram, we are on TikTok, we're also on Facebook at We Write You Write, so you can look us up. And of course, you can send them an email at we write you write at gmail.com and the WhatsApp number is on the screen, 368-3507. Ladies, any closing comments for Trinidad and Tobago before we wrap? Um, Muli, we'll start with you. I would just say, if you're thinking about moving your writing forward, come along, register, let us know that you want to come. It's also a great precursor for Bocas Lit Fest, which is obviously next week mm -hmm. uh, or the week after our retreat. So it's a great way to kind of get into that literary space. Wonderful. And Nadja? Well, good morning again, TNT. Um, mm -hmm. I would say writing is a way to just heal yourself, it's a way to connect better with yourself, and even if you are not a writer, I would say pick up a pen and try, try a little something, see, you never know what is inside of you. Definitely. Thank you so much to both of you for being here. All the best and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful village of Charlottesville and writing. Our pleasure. April the 18th to the 21st Tobago Writing Retreat happening in Charlottesville. You do not want to miss it and you don't want to miss what's coming up right after this break. Stay tuned.